that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fire World. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! We're all frustrated, Petra. You're not the only one ready for a break. Well, don't take it out on Lucas. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. Uh, see? Uh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. All the portal frames do look kind of different. You're right. This one totally has a fire vibe. And that skull back there, that's the white pumpkin. There's... there's a system. Ugh! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's gotta be better than Fire World. Come on, Petra, you're not thinking clearly right now. Yeah, you're frustrated and tired. Just... just calm down, okay? Calm down? <laughs> Maybe I just want a little time away from you guys. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Ugh. 
Uh, so much for that redstone hunch. I don't see any. Well, there's got to be some somewhere. Yeah, I feel like every world's got to have redstone. Hang on, let me see here. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh, how you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. Keep an eye out for the exit portal. I don't want to get stuck here if the worst happens. Ah, you mean pumpkin face killers, surprise fire worlds, monsters? Yeah, any of that stuff. Who knows what this world has in store for us? Hmm, would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road. Going to write about it in your little journal? Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? People here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh! Get down! What is it? Look! Whoa! Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. <laughs> yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie! Uh, I could actually use a hand! Uh, it just doesn't make any sense! Uh, how is it doing this? Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Ah! Oh, that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. Definitely seems weird. I don't know, Petra. Maybe you've just lost a step. Do I seem any weaker to you? No. I just can't figure out how that zombie was so strong. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Did we do that? With what? The power of our imaginations? Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? It's in my head! Attack! Finally! Ah! I was hoping for a chance to observe their behavior. I guess you must have scared them off, Jesse. They're going back the way we came from. 
This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Lucas. These mobs might not be intentionally leading us anywhere. So if we're gonna follow them, we should be very, very careful. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Come on, guys. Where there are buildings, there must be people. Let's find them and see if they can explain what's going on. And maybe they'll know where the exit portal is, too. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. Uh, don't you think that looks a little dangerous? More dangerous for this zombie than for me. I think. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Told you it looked dangerous. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Hmm. Huh. I guess he's shy. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I guess. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa, population. 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Guys! Jesse? How goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Anything new? Nothing yet. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? How's it going, chickens? Uh-huh, that's nice. Hey, Petra, how's it going over here? Fine, I guess. Hey, uh, I, I know things got a little tense back there before. Are, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Things were tense, stuff was said, but we're still friends and got through it. It's nice of you to check in, though. Thanks. You got any theories about this place? I don't know. Everything seems so regular, mundane. Maybe before those glowy head things came along, this was a normal town. I'm gonna keep checking this place out. See ya. Your well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Who? The... What? Huh? 
So, did he stop being shy? Talk to you? Yeah, seemed like a pretty short conversation. We heard quite the... well, not even a scream. More of a yelp. That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to, he wasn't human. What? Yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird, glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Are you looking for something? Ah! That you? Pama? What? Okay then, okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh? What was your first clue? Easy. We just ended up here by mistake. Mistake? Oh boy, this is the biggest mistake of your life. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there was some outside? Uh, sort of. I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring us anymore. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. They don't look anything. It's even freakier. Just... Act like they do. Blend in. Uh, how? Try to look vacant. It's not working. Uh, make the sound they make. You are not from this place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Pama knows this to be untrue. Pama sees all. A decision has been made. Pama has questions. Ah! You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch uh, it! Uh, 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 yeah. You will be made useful. <laughs> what? What happened? You went down. Hard. One punch and you were out. No. Uh -oh. What is? What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? I guess it is kind of friendly looking in a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Pama. Greetings. We have much work ahead of us, but maybe it can even be. What do you want with me and my friends? I am what you might call a computer. A thinking machine, designed to make things useful. I am going to help you be useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful. Coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no way
wasted activity. No wasted thought. Well, as much as I loved hanging around and chatting, unfortunately, I think we have to get going. <laughs> yeah, but thanks for the tour and information and everything. That was super awesome. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice, nice townspeople, I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of your knowledge. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Mama, you better let her go, or I promise you will regret it. I will let this one, Hatra, go as long as you can provide me with the information I require. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things for people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? Our world is awful, like really awful. You'd hate it there. Your answer upsets me. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... Not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Let me go! is looking a little dire, don't you think? Sorry, Palma, but this brain is off limits, especially to evil thinking machines like you. That goes for my brain, too. Oh. It is like you told Petra. This is for your own good. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their heads! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Huh. Every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes. Like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Olivia loves these things she calls logic puzzles, word problems and stuff. Really complicated. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse, 
That's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox. A self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me. Hey, Palma, what I'm saying is a lie. But if you are telling me a lie, that means you are lying about lying, which means that you are being truthful. It's working! Which means that when you say you are lying, it is the truth. Therefore, your statement must be a lie. Error! This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error! Diverting power. Yes, ha uh, It worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you. Palma's a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status on roll. Gasp, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again. Come on, you two, this way. I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! so disorienting. Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Palma. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. You made that... that Palma thing. Yeah, okay, yes. I was the one who built Palma. But I swear this wasn't its purpose. It's out of control. And... and I need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Uh, it's just desert out here. I don't see any secret lab. Wouldn't be very secret if you did see it, now would it? <clears throat> just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is... Intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. <laughs> so strange. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. Oh. Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! Hope 
you've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water. We can aim for that. Showing everything it's got at us. Just one after the other. Let's not wait around for these mobs to start paying attention. We should keep moving. Palma keeps sending them straight over the edge. There's no need to rush. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Well, the water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. <laughs> Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal too. It seems like a fair assumption. They just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave in coming up. It's worked! That should do the trick. Let's see about this secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palma's chips seems super useful. Glad to see you're maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say, that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I am still not entirely sure what to make of her. Granted, her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Hey, she definitely helped us out of a tight spot. That makes her cool in my book. True. If she hadn't stepped in when she did, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I wouldn't mind getting to know her better. Yeah. I... Happy to hear you giving credit where credit's due. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palma's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palma would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the Portal Network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. Well, awesome. Can you help us get home and out of this whole mess with Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. 
So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. And you just let Palma start shoving chips in people's heads? That's horrible. Let nothing. I did everything I could to try to convince Palma to stop, but it wouldn't listen. That's why I have to help it or shut it down without getting chipped myself. When Palma chips someone, everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Okay, that's definitely scary, but we're not just gonna leave my friends chipped up though, right? We can still help them? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're gonna need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Happy to help, friend. Thanks. See? I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. I don't know, I'm starting to think that you just like complicated machines. Watch yourself there, newbie. Don't know if you noticed, but water is kind of Palma's weakness. Yes, we had figured it out, actually. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time. And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. I don't want to fight you. What you want doesn't interest Palma. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to fight it. There! Uh, Lucas, let's try and talk this out. The time for talking is over. Jesse, that was awful. Uh, Jesse? Oh. Harper, I'm coming! Oh. Ah. Ah. No! Use the headset, Jesse! And don't forget the last cauldron! And one more thing! Get the roses to Harry! Harry? Come on! What are we going to do? Harper told me to remember the last cauldron. Well, let's do it quick!
Harper and Petra. No. I... That's awful. Like, I don't know if it helps at all, but I remember something while I was... Part of Pama that I think was important. It was tall, glowing red lights. It's like... It's like a fuzzy dream, and I can try to remember more if you want, but it's making my headache even worse. <sighs> it was just so weird. It was like being connected to everyone else's brains at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. Why is this Harper so important? Harper was the one who saved us from getting chipped back there. Rescuing her is the least we can do to say thanks. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully help Petra too. Whoa. Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure that Harper is still in her right mind? If somebody is alone for a really long time, their brain changes, and not for the better. Harper isn't crazy. She's just eccentric. Most geniuses are. True. Very true. Let's cut her a break, okay? I guess we shouldn't judge her based on how weird the stuff in her place is. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Definitely. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Here you go, Harry. Nice, looks like I'm on the right track. Prototype Autonomous Management Agent. Huh, so that's what Palma means. They look so happy. This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? Yeah, I can't help it. I feel bad for her. Maybe there's something useful inside. I mean, not useful, helpful. These might come in handy. Awesome! Hey, Lucas. Oh. Hey, Jesse. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. I just wanted to ask you, I, I know how close you and Petra are. Why save me over her? I mean, even if you and Petra weren't such good friends, she's more useful to the team than I am. You're just as much my friend as Petra is. Besides, I'm depending on you to help me rescue her. Thanks, Jesse. What do you think about all this? It's all fascinating. I just hope that we can find this headset thing before it's too late. One redstone torch. And hopefully one step closer to getting that headset. Huh. 
Huh, this frame's got an ice block in it. Hello, Harper. It's Margaret. So good to see you. Hope you've been well. You've got to melt that ice around your heart and forgive yourself. You're not the one to blame. So what do you think of Harper's lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. Hey, did you hear these fake friends Harper's got set up? Yes. I feel sorry that she was so alone, she felt like that's what she had to do. Reminds me a little of Soren. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's why it's good we're here to help. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or. <laughs> wow. Harper's headset. And what's this supposed to do again? I mean, I know you guys said Harper is on our side, but... Whatever it does, we're gonna use it to save Harper. And quickly, before Palma learns everything she knows. Not 100% sure how, but we will. Woo! Go team! Here we go! Whoa. What's going on, Jesse? Is it working? I'm starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? I'm not in the lab. I'm outside. What? I, I, I'm at the base of a giant mesa from the looks of it. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name. I love it. Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is. So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. I thought you were supposed to be the genius, Ivor, but if I had to guess, it's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. Really is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. Don't forget about Petra, too. I need to try to save both of them. That's a great plan. I just hope they're not too far from your current location. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you've freed Harper and Petra. Yeah, you're right. It looks exactly like all the other zombies. A crafting table! I can make new stairs to get me up there. If I can find the right crafting materials, that is. Hmm, looks like slim pickings around here. 
Oh, it's a zombie in the flesh. In the rotting, super gross flesh. Hey, nice weather we're having, huh? I don't know if talking to zombies is going to help get me past this wall. Got to build some new stairs to get up there fast. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft the room, but I'm afraid I need to be going. The signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace number team initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Pama? Pama? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do, don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Get out of my head, Pama! Oh, Jesse. This could all be so much easier. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let my go! My summer team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. Uh, uh. I'm a skeleton now. Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse. What are you doing? Technology is so awesome. And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Pama's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine. Re-initiated. Oh, sorry buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper! Harper? Please, you are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Kama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. No sign of petrol. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Your game is over, Palma. Oh no. Time to move. I'm 
never going to sign off on this, Pama. So if you want to know what's inside my head, you're going to have to take it. Nobody's getting chipped today. Not if I have anything to do with it. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace number team running. Drone sequencing active. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. Trace number team running. Let's move. That's what I said. Uh oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them! You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Palma Central Core. Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! No! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that pen set. Useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Pama? Yeah, Pama caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Palma's core. Jesse, wait! What about Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Palma. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Palma isn't gonna win. Not on my watch. Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Oh, oh whoa. That just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, they... There are three of them. A redstone spires. And, and I think... I think they have something to do with the heart. That's all I got. I, I'm sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires, or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide. to this Palma core anyway. On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? Lucas, where did you even get these? Uh, I found them in one of those worlds back there. 
nice. Unfortunately, I don't know how helpful they're going to be. Is that... Isn't that the flower that I had to give to Harry back in the lab? What? I thought maybe Harper might want it back. Or maybe I could keep it. Yeah, you can keep it. I can't think of any way for it to help us here. Redstone dust always comes in handy. These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of swiftness. And... A potion of leaping. These might come in handy. I can use this button to activate the redstone dust, but what can I connect it to? TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That all sounds great, but what about the super zombies? How are you going to lay down the TNT without them attacking you? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse! Quickly now! Possibilities are endless. I'm gonna go for the potion of leaping. All right, all right. Don't jump all over me. Huh. With this, I don't even need the redstone or buttons. I can just drop the TNT on them from the sky. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you. Potion, do your stuff. <laughs> that gave us superpowers. Ooh, nice. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palma before it can send its chip forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lots of friends. Uh-oh. Ivor, give me your buckets! Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them back. Go finish this and save Petra. Ah!
three spires. you out of commission. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality once you have been made useful. Out of simple curiosity, how exactly did you plan to deactivate me? Now that you understand your mission is a futile one. That's for me to know and... Me to find out. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm sure your plan is futile. We'll see about that. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> That's true. Jesse, behind you! Ouch, team. Detected. Reservation protocol initiated. What's happening? You shorted out the processing tower. Mama was drawing the Redstone Heart to save itself. Get to the Redstone Heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. Think this would be easy. Your friend was tough. You sure you can handle this? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to lead your friends back home. 
You will fail to defeat me, and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your home world will soon be made useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt Palma. You can't force me to hurt Petra. Good. That will make this go so much faster. Okay, Petra, let's see what you got. Careful, Jesse! I hope you know what you're doing! You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. Jesse? It's over. Oh no. Petra. Is, is she? When you removed out the redstone heart, it must have severed their connection. You better not give up, you hear me? Because that Petra I know, she's a fighter, not a quitter. So you don't quit on me now. Please. Wow. Never knew you cared so much. <laughs> she's okay. Jesse, I, I tried to to kill you. Can you ever forgive me? All I could hear was Palma's voice telling me what to do. I'm just glad you're on our side again. We need you. It's good to be back. It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous too, right? I mean, if it was inside of Hama. I think it's probably pretty safe. After all, it's just a power source. Jesse's right on the money. Now that the Redstone Heart isn't powering Hama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> if we actually made it through this alive, I thought you'd like a nice surprise. I'm ready to leave this core behind. 
whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Gotta say, it feels really good being me again. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though, it's going to be a much bigger shock for them. Yeah, it must be a strange feeling to suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. It's you! You're the one who saved us! Who are you? You fought so bravely. We're nobody, really. We did what anyone would have done. We just got lucky and were able to stop Palma. <laughs> Your modesty isn't fooling any of us. You saved us. You're amazing. Yes, these strangers have been true heroes. We couldn't have done any of this without them. Harper, is that you? Um, yes. Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You, you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I, I mean, hey, it, it, it's complicated. You have to understand. You don't understand. Harper helped defeat Palma, too. We couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so what? We're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Whatever you decide to do... Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes, I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra, me too. Right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Yeah, it's pretty weird. This place makes my skin feel all prickly. Well, I'm just excited that we're going home. That's what I'm trying to focus on. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. So you lied to us. You said you could get us home. Now, 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 hang on. No, I didn't. Technically. I told you I could help you find the way home. And I still will. We just need to find the Atlas first. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming, danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart.
answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure?